We're here with head coach Kate peterson Abiad. Can we just start with your overall thoughts on tonight's first round victory over Youngstown State? Well, it was a battle. It was a hard fought battle. I think both teams came out here tonight and didn't want to be finished with their season. Um, it was physical, it was aggressive, um, it was a battle. And there were stretches of time when everybody turned the ball over and there were stretches of time when everybody scored. And then there were other stretches of time when nobody could score. Um, but physically, getting after the balls, the loose balls, the rebounds, I just thought it was a battle from the very tip to the very end of the game. And, you know, this game, they got three opportunities to tie the, tie the game at the end um, with three-point shots, and they missed those shots. Uh, the ball bounced our way tonight. It could have been, could have been an overtime game. Um, but I'm proud of the fact that we were able to play these guys two days ago come back and have to play him again. We knew, you know, we knew that it was going to be a battle. We know each other as well as our teams know each other now. Um, it's difficult to sneak up or throw something out there they haven't seen. So um, it was a very good game, very well, well played and hard fought. And I'm, I'm proud of my team and very happy that we, we won, of course. You had a trio of players in double figures tonight. Can you talk about your offense and what was working for you? Well, last game, Two days ago when we played them, we had a lot of post touches and we either scored it inside or we kicked it and hit shots. And we really had the same game plan. However, we kicked it, they doubled us right away. We kicked it and we weren't knocking down shots. Um, so it became a situation where we needed to just run other options in our offense and make the defense work. We became very predictable. Um, and I thought that once we did that, we just let go of trying to do this, you know, less robotic, more just playing basketball, attacking the basket. Um, and, you know, kids like Corey Coleman, they thrive on the freedom to play. And Corey had a tremendous game tonight. Um, and, and it's really, really positive for us that we had three people in double figures because so many games this year we've had one. And trying to find some consistency in our scoring is, has been a real focal point. Detroit is next up in the quarterfinals for you. What are you expecting from that game? Well, Detroit's an entirely different team than what we just saw with Youngstown. They are a dominant inside team. They have two uh, tremendous post players, and then they, you know, they, they post them up inside, and we, we have to front them because they're too big for us, and we have to you know, get help, and then uh, we have to be able to try to get to shooters in time. So this game, we defended shooters first, we defended the outside and left the inside as a secondary. Um, that game is going to be exactly opposite. Got to protect the inside and then get outside to shooters. So we're expecting, again, uh, a game that's going to be where they're going to push the ball, and then if they don't have anything, they're going to execute half-court offense and pound the ball inside, and, and we've got to be prepared for that. Thank you very much. Thank you.